हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द एट्थ मॉड्यूल ऑफ चैप्टर फोर क्लास इलेवन जोग्राफी फंडामेंटल ऑफ फिजिकल जोग्राफी बुक इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस द रेट ऑफ द प्लेट मूवमेंट एंड द मूवमेंट ऑफ द इंडियन प्लेट बेसिकली दिस इज द एट एज वेल एज द लास्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ दिस चैप्टर द रेट्स ऑफ द प्लेट मूवमेंट एज वी अर्लियर डिस्कस इन द प्लेट मूवमेंट और द प्लेट टेक्टोनिक थ्योरी and in the different plate boundaries that the plate move all over the earth from one place to another place but the rate of the plate is too much slow so the strip of the normal and the reverse magnetic field have the scientific test to study the rate of plate movement as we already discussed the paleomagnetic facts means the property of the rocks and the magnetic field help us to know about the rate and the ages of the different plates arctic ridge has the slowest rate less than 2.5 cm per year east pacific rise has more than 3.15 cm per year so these facts are important for the mcq questions so which is the slowest plate that is the arctic ridge and which is the fastest plate that is the pacific rise so now let discuss the forces which are responsible for the plate movement the surface of the earth is dynamic as you know the our earth is ever changing interior is always mobile as you we as we saw in the convection cell that there is a movement of the magnetic material uprise and the downfall so beneath the lithosphere there is a always movement of magma horizontally and heated material rise to the top and when it cools it tend to sink so the cycle is repeated over the time and the form convection cell we already discussed the thing now that next is the source of heat so as we already discuss about this thing in convection current the major source of heat in the interior of the earth that is the availability or the existence of radioactive material so the residual heat the radioactive material these decay or the radioactive material presence responsible for the generation of the heat and this heat is responsible for the movement of the plates this was first considered by the arthur holmes in convection current theory as we already discussed this thing and later is influenced by the harries in sea floor spreading harries also suggest this thing that due to the convection current there is a movement of the plate in the sea floor spreading and there is a formation of new crust so let discuss the movement of the indian plate in brief or if we want to the brief the movement of the indian plate so we can say the indian plate is a major tectonic plate straddling straddling means move away easily move away the equator in the eastern hemisphere as you know india lies only and only in the eastern hemisphere originally part of the ancient continent of gondwana because india is made by the gondwana gondwana is a part of pangaea recall the thing or recapture the thing that wagner's pangaea divided in two part and upper one part is the laurentia or the laurentia land and the lower or we can say the southern part that is a gondwana and india formed from this gondwana so the continent of gondwana india broke away from the other fragments of gondwana 100 million year ago means the other fragments that was the part of the gondwana so india free or broke away from that in 100 million year ago and begin to moving further and begin to move to north side the speed of that movement is 26 to 36 mm only per year so you can see the rate as well as the speed is too much slow the indian plate includes peninsula in the australia and continent portion this is the most important theory the movement of the indian plate so there are two kind of plates included in peninsular india and australian continent portion the subduction zone 
along the himalaya subduction zone where the heavier plate tend to sink that is area is called as subduction zone so the subduction zone along the himalaya form northern plate in the form of continent continent conversion this is the most important term of this thing that the formation of himalaya form by the continent continent convergence in the east it extends to arakan yuma in myanmar and toward the island of along the java means <clears throat> you can see the indian plate so this indian plate surrounded by the so many plates like arabian eurasian somali burma sunda these different plates it surrounded so it separated from the other plates and moved toward the north east direction and due to the movement of this north east direction as you know between the eurasian and the indian plate there is a availability of that is c so the movement of the two continent plates like eurasian plate and the indian plate before near about 200 million year ago so near about 140 100 million year ago the subcontinent was located at south near about 50 degrees south latitude and that is also separated the indian plate and eurasian plate there the further movement between the eurasian and the indian plate and due to the upliftment of the sediment of this that is see there is a formation of a himalaya so india collided with asia about 40 to 50 million year ago causing rapid uplift of himalaya so we can say the age of himalaya is near about 40 to 50 million year ago so the indian plate and the eurasian plate were close to equator and back then so you can see the movement of the indian plate in this diagram indian plate landmass 70 million year ago the situation you can see the location and the direction then 50 million year ago is tend to move to north east direction and slightly tilted to the north direction and this is the present condition of the india which we can see the today we can see this in another diagram also same thing the indian landmass 71 million year ago then 55 million year ago then 38 then 10 and that today condition so in this way there is a evidence that different plates that there is a movement in the different plates and due to the movement of these plates there is a movement in the continent as well as in the ocean thank you